Piece of cake. A little more. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. All right. Excellent. That is huge, huh? Now, every so often, can I do this too? That'd be funny. Can't. Just need a quiver. See if there's a quiver in town. Maybe I'll buy it. it would be helpful, huh? All right, good. Got some guys there. So this is where the projectiles can actually hit you. Because it gets surrounded by guys. And did I have the move? Yeah, I do have the move. Uh, I'll show you that too real quickly. I need you guys to be well aware of this because it's kind of important. The ability to move without attacking. I know a lot of people struggle with that. And there's a thing in the keybinds to actually bind that to something. Which will allow you to move through things without accidentally clicking on them, which is kind of what I was just doing there. Let's take out this fool first, huh? Did that lock on? That appeared to have locked on. There are so many of these. Wow. Spot. That was beautiful. My hatred is too low. My hatred is too low. Hearing that increases my hatred for you. All right, so oh, that's still one more. I thought there was another guy. Get out of my way. Wow, another one too. I did not realize that there were three of these fools. Dead. Alright. So many skeletons to kill, my gosh. Unbelievable. All right, good, finally, whew. You're renewed, wonderful. All right, let me show you really quickly. Quickly. So we go to this, and we go to options, and we go to gameplay, no we don't. We go to <laughs> options, key bindings, right there. And then move. So binding that, I bound that to mouse three, which is just my middle mouse button, clicking it down. Um, that allows you to move without accidentally attacking something. So if, if you ever try to move, you know, by right clicking, uh, by left clicking on the ground, but obviously left mouse button is bound to an attack. So whenever you do that, if you're trying to move in a position but you accidentally click on something, you'll accidentally attack it. I'm sure you guys who played the beta may have noticed that. If you just bind the move button, you can move in that direction by hitting that key, or for me, uh, middle mouse button, mouse three and it won't attack anything because that's specifically designated to move you. That's it. That's the entire purpose of it. This guy does a lot of damage to me. I believe he drops health gloves. I can line a sight him too to get rid of that. That's good. I buy myself a little bit of time here. wanted my uh, potion to come back because he actually does some decent damage surprisingly see what I mean I require aid. there we go I got close closer than anything else so far that's nice yeah still not good six life after each kill though huh hmm and this is some decent damage. Plus, again, monster experience. Now. This is going to be a DPS drop. Yeah, is it worth it, though? Six life after each kill is pretty decent, but I don't know. I'll hold on to it, though. We will uh, We will hold on to this. At the very least. My training has paid off. Wonderful. It's good to hear. T teleports you. Just hit T. It's all you need to do. It only click on anything. Impale got impact, which is uh, really good, actually. So I'm gonna make that switch right now. 
65% chance to knock the target back and stun for 1.5 seconds. That is really good. These guys, wow, they're just. This is some, in, this is some intense action going on. <laughs> Why can I hear them so much? <laughs> oh my lord. That is terrible. The, get the heck out of here. Actually, let me check for a quiver. I wanted to do that. So each of my items is very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if Nothing from him. Let's take a look at Radik the fence down here. See if he has anything. Don't tell look, I'm happy to sell to you. No. Oh, oh, oh snap. Look at that. As nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's let's double down here, guys. Ready? I'm gonna sell this stuff. Get some extra golds. Gonna double down. Bam, bam! Spend 4k. It's worth it. I just turned into a complete baller. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this stuff here? Wow. Let's get on with this. Yeah, we're going. No worries. Oh, snap. Oh, ho! That was a nice pickup. Just goes to show you guys, check those vendors while you're leveling. Uh, that's that's a nice increase for me. But I'm attacking a lot faster for one. And uh, I'm going to have double the piercing going on because it's... I'm going to have two attacks swinging well, much more frequently. So this is, uh, is going to be a huge performance increase here. Now, you notice that I, I got rid of Impale, right? I mean, I picked up Impale, I got rid of... You know what I'm saying. Picked up Impale, got rid of Rapid Fire. But I have a good chance to knock back and stun now. And it's really good. It used to be 100%. Can you believe that garbage? Impale used to be 100% chance to stun. What were they thinking? That was the most OP thing ever. You can you could uh, you could stun uh, the skeleton king. You could literally keep him permanently stunned. It would do nothing to you. It was hilarious, and that would have been you know I know they say they're not trying to balance PVP, but that would have been the most OP. <laughs> that would have been the most OP thing in PVP ever. You stun. It was a two second stun. You attack. You get some of that hatred back while they're stunned, and then you do it again, and then you just laugh because they can't do a thing. It's a riot. I mean, I guess I'm glad they changed it. I almost wish they kept it, because I'd probably just play Demon Hunter. <laughs> it'd be super overpowered. And it'd be hilarious. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves, besides QQ all day. It would, it's just, it was unbelievable. They had to change it. They had to change it. Even 65% is pretty high. I mean, you, you're noticing here, it's... They're getting stunned more than 50% of the time. Burp, it's 65%. Yeah, but that's a lot, man. It really is. Get out of my way. Let me kill that idiot. There we go. I was putting myself in this corner was probably not the best idea, though. But yeah, it's uh, it's really good, man. Impale with impact room is solid stuff. Even now, even in, even in its nerfed version of 65 as opposed to 100% chance, really, really good. I do think the trade-off was that now it knockbacks and it didn't used to. I'm pretty sure it was just a stun before, so I guess it's kind of comparable. But it was a lot better before. It was far too good before. Shooting gallery here. It's a riot. My hatred is too low. Yeah, kind of a fan of them just getting destroyed so easily there. These new weapons have definitely been a marked improvement. 
Just goes to show you when all of your abilities are based off of weapon damage. For all classes, even the ranged characters now, your weapons are a big deal. Kind of a big deal. I will not accept this. It's not this is a dead end, though. So we're going to uh, head back. Alright, so is it a 100% chance to knock back and then only 65 to stun? Uh, this is the wrong one. There we go. Has a impale has a 65% chance to knock the target back and stun it for 1.5 seconds. Uh, those are not. Hmm. Mutually exclusive. All right. Alrighty. That's good to know. There should be someone down here, right? Yeah. Either way, too, it's still a lot of damage, 250% of the damage. My hatred is too low. People have uh, talked to me about the hitboxes in the game, uh, feeling that they may be too large, and the issue that arises is when you're trying to target an enemy, but someone that's standing in front of it, you hit them instead. I don't know if that's... Pretty sure that I mean yes it is it's by design by Blizzard. Blizzard obviously feels that that's how it should be. I think if they made the hitboxes too small, there could obviously be some counter. Look at that! There was a knockback but no stun. Did you notice? Is it knocking back every time but only stunning 65% of the time? I don't know. It seems to be the case. It doesn't read that way. Read over that again. Pretty sure it doesn't read that way. Unless I'm uh, not thinking clearly. Impale has a 65% chance to knock the target back and stun it for 1.5 seconds. I don't know. It looks like it knocks back every time, and it only stuns a percentage of the time. Here's to be what's happening, so I guess the wording's wrong, or the spell is not working as intended. One or the other. Something's going on, though. Ooh, here we go. Some XP off of that. Story we've heard a trillion times. I'll skip it. I will, I will, I will, I will. Here we go. These speed demons. My hatred is too low. See the see what I'm talking about? Even only at 65% of the time, it's pretty ridiculous. Leather pants of the bear. Take it. Absolutely. Carrying bats are fast. Ooh. Oh, come on. There we go. From a distance. damage on those guys. No, no, no. I was out of range. I'm sorry. And Cathedral level 3. Time to save Le Templar. The smallest area of the Cathedral. Level 3. Going through renovations. Coming soon, 2013, Cathedral of Renovations. Introducing a hot stuff, <laughs> a hot stuff, a hot tub, swimming pool, 
Recreation area, basketball court, and a Starbucks. <laughs> Coming to a cathedral near you. I mean, nice, huh? At the least, there should be a Dunkin' Donuts. If we can't get a Starbucks, throw a Dunkin' Donuts in here. I need a Kulata. You know, I, I like never drink coffee. The only coffee form I ever drink is Kulata's. But I like chai tea lattes. I don't know. I don't know what's up with me. It's not a coffee guy. Which is good. I like my teeth white. <laughs> wow. Here we go. This is gonna get interesting. Especially teleporting guys. The worst kind. Ah, oh, I didn't need that health globe then. Probably could have saved it for a better time. So, notice how, you, I mean, we've, in, we've encountered a few different monster types. Encountered Nightmarish and Teleport. And uh, what else have we encountered this time? Well, once you work your way through the layer difficulties, if you're new to the Diablo franchise and playing the fire games, if you don't know, there will be monsters with three, four, maybe even more of those attributes attached to them. I think the most I've heard for D3 is four, but that could not be true. So, I don't know, we, no one's actually seen it except for the devs, you know, at Blizzard, but, um, so, you know, that guy had teleport. You could have a guy with teleport and knockback and molten and, you know, arcane damage. Like, there's all sorts of possibilities. There's the waller affix that people have been picking up in the beta as well. I haven't walked through it in a playthrough yet, but there's a lot of possible... Enhancements that these monsters can get and uh, once you once you get to the point where you're dealing with Two or more per pack. That's when things will get really hairy and that's why uh, You know hell and inferno can be really so difficult Pretty intense Pretty intense indeed Alrighty. And that's dead. Alright, John Dar. It's me and you, buddy. You were its Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this? Copper. The covenant is my brotherhood now. The powers we serve will soon rule this world. A lot of uh summons this time. I've been living so long. Wow. That AoE thing does a ton of damage. Can I avoid any of that? Yeah, I can. If I just stay away. Ugh. There we go. That's just, uh, that's a lot of, that's a decent amount of damage there. From that. Oh man, right on my face. Under, stay away, please. There it is. So nurse dead. Please forgive me. My vision was clouded by the coven's evil magic. And unfortunately I can't have the Templar because I'm in a group of four, even though I'm not really in a group of four. I mean <laughs> they're here but they're not. Thank you for your aid. If we find It'd be nice if they uh if the game would recognize that. But it doesn't. Whatever. Just making sure I haven't picked up anything that I need, and it doesn't look like it. All right, here we go, Cathedral level four. We're almost there yet again. Oh, snap. What are these ones, Nightmarish? 
Oh, I just realized there's nowhere, to, there's nowhere to go up here. It's a death trap. These guys to blow up on each other before I get cornered. Come on, go, go, go. Blow up. Blow up on each other. Stun you. We got it. 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 Don't no worry. Don't no worry. Yeah. Oh, look at that stun proc. Huzzah. Perfect. All right. That worked out. Just enough time to kill him before I have to spin around. And luckily that stun procced. I didn't get slammed in the face by that guy. Because that would have been no bueno. Remember, I'm playing on hardcore. If I die once, that is it. Sayonara sucker. And you know what? After an hour of recording, that would be the most embarrassing thing in the world. Not like just because I, oh, they watched me die on hardcore. It's like, hey man, I'm uh, chatting with you guys. I'm not really focusing on the game and losing an hour's worth of my time would shuck. I'd probably still post it anyway, so just for the lulls, because I'm sure people would find it hysterical. If for no other reason than to rip on me. People love to do that on the YouTube. Look at the pierce on that. Lazarus. Of that I am certain. Mm, so good. Well, how have you guys liked the Demon Hunter? Look at those stilettos. Can't believe... Why did they do that? Why can't she be... Why does she have to be like a dominatrix? <laughs> Why is that necessary? It's just weird to me, dude. If this, like... I don't know. I know it's not, it can't be realistic. It's not realistic at all. We've got people hurling spells and stuff like that, but, oh no, nightmarish. Um, we got smoke screen, which is nice. I don't know if I want that instead of Caltrops, though. In fact, I know I don't. Caltrops has saved me in more ways than one, so. Uh, but I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of unimmersive, I feel. It's not... Even Laura Craft, she doesn't run around in high heels when she's on an adventure. You, you need to wear flats or running shoes. Something realistic. Bam. Damn, girl. This is a piece of cake here, though. This is fun! I finally got a quiver, but now that I'm dual wielding, I don't need it, so... I forget these guys now, I'm gonna go over here. There it is! Dead! Alright, nice. Let's take a quick look at that quiver. Yeah, three vitality, increase attack speed, but... What I have right now, it was going to far surpass uh, if I were to try to do a two-hand and that stuff. Let's check this way. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling it might be over here. Drop the chandelier. Bam. Those things need to hurt you, for the love of God. If a wall falls on you or a chandelier falls on your head, it must hurt you. Blizzard, please make that change. It's something I really want to see. I really do. So there's a problem. Very difficult to uh, dodge those things. Those quick moving projectiles become a little bit more uh, cumbersome. My strength is back. Thank you. Demon Hunter is a good class, man. If it's, I, I mean, I suggest, again, I, I said before, at the start of the beta, I was like, man, Demon Hunter, but once I started playing, it really turned me around. You really need to, if you didn't get a chance in the open beta to play all the characters, I highly suggest it. I think that a lot of, a lot of uh, preconceptions about certain classes will change once you actually get your hands on them and play through. They're all enjoyable to play, every single one of them. Really, really fun, really, really responsive, and they all have their unique style in terms of the gameplay, you know, how you play the class, the feel of the class. And uh, it's, it's 
it's well worth at least taking some time to try them all out. I mean, if you're like me and you're just stubborn and set in your ways and you're just going to play this one character, that's fine. I'm, I'm barbarian 100% of the way to start, but I know for a fact that I will have a 60 at some point of all the character classes. There's no doubt. I mean, I can't not experience that. Great thing about Diablo 2 is that with no bound gear, you can just be all about that. I mean, you can do that and you can swap gear between characters, although every character class has its own really unique stat in terms of increasing damage, so... I guess that it wouldn't be the most effective, but you can still, you know, have your 60 and not play it for a while, and then maybe just use the auction house to gear up if you decide to switch main for all of a sudden or what. Or, I mean, you know, just playing on one character doesn't mean you're not farming gear for another, right? If I'm playing in my Barbarian and I find really good gear for my level 60 wizard, there you go. You can grind with whatever character you want, and then just, if you want to just play around for fun or want to try another character with another build, you can just do that. It's cool. No sweat. I gotta take out the casters. It's just being foolish running around not doing that. They keep summoning people, right? I mean, it's, you gotta take them out. It's kind of uh, the only way that this craziness will stop anytime soon. So there's three? Is there another one? Or did I already get... Oh, don't aggro those yet. Let's take care of this first, huh? <laughs> one problem at a time. He spotted me. They're coming. There they go. And they're teleporting. That is terrible. I need to get these guys to blow up fast. Ah, yes. Thank you, stun proc. Beautiful. Oh, come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Use the potion. Didn't want to. Blow him up. Nope. Blow him up. Blow him all up. Get him. There's a health globe over there. Potion's just about reset. Should be all set. There we go. Woo! Alright. These guys, it can be a nuisance. Can they not? Let's see if we got anything good from that, though, huh? Here's open. No, not really. How is that only a... 20 massacre. I was engaged non-stop with those fools. All bajillion of them. Oh, I thought this was a giant bat pack. I was frightened of those three. Or however few that is. That's silly. That is silliness. Silliness incarnate. Wow, congratulations. You missed three times. <laughs> Looking at my phone trying to cast trying to cast him pale when looking at a telephono is no bueno and the fallen star continues its route through and we believe what's going to happen is that once game hits retail you kill king leoric and then immediately after that what we'll see is where the fallen star resides and what it is which is actually particularly why they stopped the beta where they did because there's a major spoiler pretty much immediately after that point. I don't think this is the right place at all. It's a problem with Cathedral Level 4. It's so big. Yeah, this is not it. So, those little segments, and uh, once you get comfortable with all the different dungeons, they're randomized, sure, but they all have these specific pockets and they're just like randomly placed like that can be randomly placed in location and that pocket but there's nothing leading out of that pocket that particular zone area i'm looking look i'm searching for a good word for it i can't find it but there's not going to be anything leading out of that the only time there ever is is if it's branching down in this direction but there was nothing there so i said okay then there's nothing else to see here there's never like a door on the other side or something like that 
And it'll be eventually figured out, you know, again, once you run through the game more and more. I can just show you too. I'll just show you here for those who don't know that that's the truth. Because this little branching, this little zone here is the exact same as the one adjacent to that I was just in. I'm going to just dispatch of these guys. And then we'll take a look up top just to show you. Just to prove to you that I know what I'm saying here. And so that you can know for yourself once the game goes live. Okay, so take a look at the map. Notice how that's the same there? It's going to be exactly the same on the top row as well, and it just kind of wraps around. The only time that this type of uh, segment ever branches off is if there's a path right here leading to something else. That's the only time. I've never seen a path on the other side either. So this path will, like this type of area will never lead into a path leading to something similar. It'll lead into a path that maybe branches into that or a corridor like that or something. Well, let me just show you the top here. I guess we have this. Okay, that was worth it. Can we return from our hurt? And then give me another guy over here or what? Yeah. It's like a... You're not getting away from me this time. Right on your butt. Alright, so there you go. See? And it's gonna be exactly the same right here. There's never like a door or a corridor leading out over here. At least I have never encountered it in my bajillion beta run throughs. I mean, alone on the channel I've done multiple run-throughs, like three or four run-throughs for each character, even per sex, and that's never been the case. And I just have never seen anything like that. And even these areas, uh, there's only one path leading out of it, and that would be straight ahead over here. So if there isn't, then there's nothing else on the side rooms or anything like that. There's one guy. There's a lot of guys here, plus a lot of archers. Stay away. Oh no! Shoot, 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 shoot! Get away! Okay. A lot of guys. Wow. That's down there. What is going on here, huh? keep picking up more guys. I guess it's because I keep moving, but I have to move. Otherwise, I'm stuck. Ah, how was I within range of that? Please. So many skeletons. We got him. Excellent. Wow. All right, so let's take a quick look. Could have been down here. We'll see if it's down over this way, though. There it is. Excellent. And here we are, and I had a million complaints about the Skeleton King last time and about skipping the Royal Crypts area. So I won't this time. Last time, I could just kind of wanted to show you guys that that was even possible. I thought that it was incredibly interesting the first time I discovered that you could skip that. And I found out about it quite a while ago, at least a few months ago, but I had never actually showed it in a video, to my understanding. So I thought, hey, I should show this to people. But people said, rah, 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 rah. I, <laughs> I wanted to see you skill the Skeleton King, and I wanted to see this room cleared. And, and I said, all right, trolls, take it easy. One thing you can do, though, is preemptively kill these people while he's doing his little chatterboxing over there while he's talking about whatnot. As soon as that pops, let's unload on these. The pillar stay up means more summons, means more guys in my face. Not a fan. Right, 
take these out quickly. A little concerned about all the ranged characters here, though. This should be fine, though. A lot of range. Passive health regen is pretty bad, too. Just not a lot of it. Yeah, I realize. I got a health potion soon. There it is. Take out the archers now. Work through most of the melee. Alright. There you go. Now, back over here. In the meantime, in between time, there's been a lot of summons. But, luckily for me, most of the uh, range are gone. Yeah, got that one. Watch this, right? Wrap around. Have these fools follow me in here. And then once they're all in here, we'll run to that other pillar and take it out. We also got that right there. Should have no problem with this. Now let's go take this out. Get sandwiched in here, though. That would be a bad idea. Alright. That was fun. I know you guys really want to see the Skele King. Monsieur, Monsieur Skele King. He's coming up. Wow. So much. So much anger in these skeletons. Woo! Yeah. Next. Please let me know too if you guys are still interested in seeing the remainder of the classes be happy to set this up and I know lovely friends in the community Draken, Maniacal, and Exhibition will also be more than happy to help out and yeah I'll do it I'll it'll be what it'll be monk witch doctor wizard that's the order we have I just kind of like to Crystal. stick to the order presented on the character creation screen rather than having to figure out this way and that way at least it gives you guys an idea to uh, of what to expect you know All right, hopefully they're there now. No. Oh, I hit my microphone. Sorry if that was loud and annoying. And here he is. You will you. never escape me. Oh, really? Good. It's going to work this time. I like to go this way. Don't corner yourself if you don't have to, right? Harder difficulties. I'm level 8 still, huh? Hmm. Seems like I've been killing a lot of things <laughs> and should be past this level, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like that? Is that a hat? Yeah, there's a wizard hat. What would I do with a wizard hat? Nothing? Yeah. Well, here we are. Let's see. I've got smoke screen. Is that going to be better here than Caltrops, though? Probably not. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with that. I think I've got a decent spell composition here. Ability composition. Whatever. Remember, Skeleton King can be stunned. Impale's a good choice here. Impale's an excellent choice. He has a heck of a lot more HP. This is going to take probably at least five minutes. To be honest with you. But really? I mean, besides stupid things like what I just did? Not too concerned. 
bit of stunning going on, huh? I'm gonna try to let him take out his own people and rely on my Pierce to hit him as well. I'm really just going to try. Wow. Really just going to try to avoid the ads, I think. I just, I think I'm just going to suck up a lot of time. And he does stuff like that, which. Ugh. That's stun. Love it. I only wanted to pick up one of those. There he is. That's the other great thing about displaying health is that you're gonna see where he is preemptively. That it's helped too much. So watch him just bash his own friends. It. Ooh, that was weird. He bugged out a little bit. He was definitely supposed to be on top of me there. Oh no! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Completely surrounded. Note to self, don't sit on a wall. Skeleton Kings warping in, dudes. Where is he? Is he coming? Yes. Yeah, I probably just unload my stun when I see him like that. Oh, get him. Watch this. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, he missed him. Darn it. You see, though, I mean, it's not, you know, I'm taking some damage, yeah, whatever, but it's not, uh, it's not terribly difficult, it just takes longer. That's all. There we go. Swing those people behind you. Get them! Yeah, look at that. That was glorious. Skelly King, I have defeated you before. I will do it again. Trust me. Yes, done. Yes, done. Yeah, sucker. Get beasted, Skelly King. Stupid of me. It's all right, though. We are a okay. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Can't move out. Oh no! Get out of the way! <laughs> that could have gone terribly bad. Oh man, that was awful. That was really, really. Stick away from the edges. I don't know why I keep hugging him. Watch this. Skeleton blows up all his own peeps. Crew's not too thrilled with you, Skeleton Gang. Stun, it keeps on coming. Oh, I would have laughed if we got it another time there. Almost. Yeah. Woo. Skelly King beasted super hardcore mode. Hello, Demon Hunter. Thank you for watching.
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this run through. Again, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see another run through on super hardcore mode. Obviously, once again, a big shout out to Draken, Maniacal, Exhibition, and everyone else. Part of the Force Strategy Gaming community. Check out our website, ForceStrategyGaming.com. Take it easy, guys. Let's Thanks so on. much for watching. Let's, Let's do some get cheers on. or whatever. Oh, oh, yes. Smack talk. Any last words? I am ready. Don't make me laugh. I am ready.